Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I wanted to talk about some new releases that have come out. We have the new public release for Obsidian 0.9.22 so now it's publicly accessible and you now get the feature for Obsidian Sync which is generally available now. And we also have a new Insiders build as well, 0.10.0. Now this release has a lot of new things to come to it and most of them are revolve around the uh, drag and drop of files either within the Obsidian app or outside the Obsidian app coming into the Obsidian app. So let's walk through a few of these uh, new capabilities that are in Obsidian 10.10.0. Now the, the main features here that have been added revolve around drag and drop and also multi-select of files is, is another one. This is one I've been waiting for for a while. So before you could only select one file if you wanted to move files around here. And now if you, um, you do shift and click, you can select multiple concurrent files. You can also, if you want to select multiple files that are not concurrent or you know in in the same order here you can do the alt click so you can see here i can alt click and select multiple files here and let me go ahead and create a new folder we'll just create a folder here that allow us to move things around and if i select those files we can see that all those files moved inside of this particular uh, folder when we did it now so that's multiple select where you can select concurrent files and also you can kind of stagger which files you want if you use the alt click now another thing here is that we can also let's go ahead and move create a start pane here let's move the start pane here to the bottom we can multiple select these files that we have moved here into the trash and we can now drag and drop those into the start area as well. So we can also go into search and from the search, we can search for a file here. Let's create a new one here. And we can also drag and drop from the search and drop in links as well from here. So we have a backlink here now. And what we can do here is we can drag and drop links from the back, backlinks pane into your notes as well. So we can also copy the Obsidian URLs to other applications. So if I select say one of these documents, I can go ahead and drag and drop that into another note file like Sublime here. And you can see that that link comes over with this. Obsidian is constantly getting new updates and feedback from the community and the updates in this release, this 10.10 release is, is really nice. So can't wait for this to come out to the public access release so that everyone can have the ability to use this feature and see how it works and improves their efficiency within the app. If we walk through some of the they, there's a few GIFs here that show some of the functionality. We already went through dragging and dropping multiple files. You can uh, drag files from the search. We've shown that example. And drag files from the backlinks area. You can also drag files to, to pane header in the navigation here. Drag files to other apps. We demonstrated that one as well. You can drag attachment from System Explorer. So you can grab files from System Explorer and copy them into your Obsidian application directly there. You can drag files to the start and you can also reorder start files as well. So a lot of new functionality here, all focused mostly around the, the file aspect, being able to move files around in and out of Obsidian. So I'm really excited about this update. If you found this helpful, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until the next time, have a nice day.